I messed up because I should have started this entire first impressions uh, just straight up saying it feels right. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it feels right. I can't believe it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another kind of funny first impressions. As always, I'm Tim Geddes, joined by the boss baby himself, Barrett Courtney. Ooh, what's up, feeling? Tim? I'm not only excited to talk about the demo of a game that's probably one of our more anticipated games uh, oh, for, for this fall. But I'm also excited because I think this is the first time I'm recording on camera for a kind of funny thing in my new setup. So I'm very excited for no more YouTube comments asking if I'm recording in my <laughs> fucking closet because I've never been <laughs> well, recording in my Congratulations closet. Congratulations <laughs> like on, on the graduating from the closet to now the, 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 the pinky It wasn't fort. even my closet. My setup just used to be five feet over and the background was just my bedroom <laughs> door. So no, I've never been recording my closet, you fuckers. Now, the other <laughs> complaint is like, ah, Barrett looks pale. I'm a white Irish person living in San Francisco. I, get it. I can't, th this is all you're going to get. So that's it all is I can what fix. It is, <laughs> it is, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe you'll, you'll fix the next thing later. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But, uh, <laughs> If you want to see Barrett's Room, you can check us out on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games. Or if you just want to listen to us and just imagine what Barrett's talking about, that's cool too. Yeah, imagine Search like, your favorite. like imagine what my setup used to be and then imagine what it is now and just think like the, they were both fine. They were both fine. Yes, they were <laughs> always good. It was always good. And is he super pale? No. If you're just listening, he's not. He can be whatever you want him to be. Anyways, you can look for your favorite podcast service. Just search for Kind of Funny First Impressions and we'll be right there, uh, which is very exciting for everybody involved, especially me, because I've been talking about for months being plagued by this Jared Petty debatable album art. It's finally gone. Is it gone? It is wow. gone. It, it, it Fine, and if to... you're seeing it, please tweet at Tim Gettys because you shouldn't be. <laughs> it like as far as I know, it has been completely erased wow. from from memory. So thank God. Anyways, let's get into it. We're talking about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2 remake. Uh, Barrett, you and I got to play the Warehouse demo. Yes. Uh, yes which did. is which consists of it's 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 very reminiscent of the OG Tony Hawk 1 demo. So of course, I'm feeling very nostalgic about it all. You get to play as Tony Hawk, stats all the way down to just basic stuff. It's one single session mm -hmm. in the warehouse. Uh, not too much to play around with because we're not, this is in career mode. So we're not able to do any of the goals and stuff. It's yeah. just single session, do some tricks, have some fun. What are your top level impressions? Uh, my top level impressions is that I'm excited that Tony Hawk is back. Is, is my thing, Tim. And uh, like, I know like when Pro Skater 5 or whatever came out, I think that was the one that was uh, the most recent Pro Skater. You were very let down. I never played it, but from what I understand, like it just didn't feel right. Um, mm -hmm. it, but going into th this remake, I was a little concerned of like, uh, I, like, I hope this demo and this game feels like what I remember the OG games feeling like. And as far as I can feel and tell, it, it does feel like the, the classics all kind of mushed together. Uh, and it, it was really fun and interesting to um, kind of, I, I was more of like a, th a thug guy, right? Uh, you could get off your board, do all of this like dumb added shit, right? Um, so being kind of like sticking to your board and, and stuff like that also felt nostalgic because I did play like uh, Pro Skater 3 and 4 back in the day as well. Um, but also getting like additional stuff that I don't think was in Pro Skater. Like there's uh, wall grinding, I think, uh, that I think got added in Thug. Wall, wall um, what? Wall riding or whatever it's called. Uh, you can wall riding's been in since Tony Hawk 1, maybe. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and wall then there's jump, like, jumping off of the wall. Wall was planting. Added, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That was later. That okay. was, uh, I think, added in Tony Hawk four if i remember correctly okay, okay. um but it, it, it's cool to like they they weren't sticking just to tony hawk one and two when it comes to the move set and they're they are doing a whole combination of, of stuff from all original pro skater games um yeah. and it, it just felt good and it felt right as far as like the demo as a whole goes like i wish we could you know not do the two minute session and just do free skate so we're not like constantly reloading into it um <clears throat> but that was just like that that's just like a personal thing but like yeah i'm gonna keep reloading after the two minutes because i'm obsessed with trying to beat my score and just do a bunch of crazy insane tricks yeah i messed up because i should have started this entire first impressions uh just straight up saying it feels right yeah. ladies and gentlemen it feels right i can't believe it after a decade <laughs> Plus, it feels, of Tony Hawk games that just don't feel right. It finally 
has happened where I get to hold a controller in my hands <laughs> and control a Tony Hawk game where it feels right. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater HD, which not a great game, not horrible, mm -hmm. but it didn't feel right. I had to kind of just put up with what it felt like, <laughs> which was a little mushier than it should be for, for a Tony Hawk game. And then Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 that is just abysmal and it felt horrible. But this feels right and it feels like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 but it's way prettier and it is the classic Tony Hawk, at least right now it's a warehouse. Um, but there's so many quality of life improvements that I'm already seeing from this demo that is a very small demo. But mm. if you go into the menu, there's so much hidden stuff here that I'm really oh, yeah. excited about. There's options where you can turn it from, uh, the default is you get all the different moves that are featured up through Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. So you get the revert from 3. You get the spine transfers and kind of flattening out the acid drops from 4. Mm -hmm. um, you get those wall plants that we're talking about. And all of that is kind of what I see as the perfect Tony Hawk's Pro Skater move set. It, every single move is about mobility and it's about keeping your combo going. Right. And I've always, always loved that. Um, in, in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Skater HD, there was another remake of 1 and 2. They took out the reverts until they added the DLC and whatever. But it doesn't matter. It never felt right, which was the key thing that who cares. Yeah. But reverts are so key to this gameplay. And, man, it was like putting on a nice pair of pants. You know what I mean? I'm just like, <laughs> I, I, it's been a while since I've worn jeans here in quarantine. But once you put them on, you're like, oh, this feels... It feels, feels comfy. Familiar. Fe yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's what Tony Hawk's Pro Skater uh, 1 and 2 are for me right now. I love, again, I was talking about quality of life things. If you hit R3, it just skips track to the next song. Oh, I know. Like I, I saw that. I was like, oh, that's such an easy way to do it instead of going into the menu and then like having to like skip the song or like turn on. Like, yeah, I, I noticed that. I was like, oh, that's so easy. And that's very, that'll be very nice for, I'm sure there'll be uh, no Tony Hawk uh, soundtrack, I would say. Uh, this, uh, this might get flames thrown at me, but I, none of it is perfect. It's, they're all great, I would say, but there's always like a few tracks here and there where I'm like not feeling it. And just having that like one skip button, it's like, oh yeah, that feels right. That feels right. You know, it wasn't until Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 mm -hmm. um, that the game soundtracks got so wide and varied that they actually uh, had multiple playlists you can go into where there was hip hop, mm -hmm. there was rock, and there was punk. Mm -hmm. And you can have all, or you could just listen to one genre if you wanted to. Um, but then eventually you can go in and actually just turn whatever songs you want off or whatever. You can do that here. We even see this. This demo only had like four or five songs, but you can go in and turn them on or off uh, based on if you want to hear them. But the songs are constantly playing. They don't end when your single session ends. Yeah. It goes into the menu. Uh, and it goes so you into just like the loading and stuff as well. Like, all of yeah. it. It's, it's awesome. It's this seamless experience because they understand the music is so core to these games. Um, other little things like there's audio uh, bits that I'm actually really impressed with. The music kind of changes its sound based on where you are. Mm. And I thought that that was going to be annoying. But just drive, or not driving, skating around the warehouse. It's like, depending on where you are in the warehouse, there's different reverb on the song. Right. I and was I think noticing that, it, that. Like, it was interesting because I was like, am I imagining that? But yeah, when you're near um, like the where the cat is like if, if you notice there's like a cat outside uh yeah. like near one side you can kind of like the the way the sound changes is so interesting and i was like am i imagining that and like i went over there a couple of times i was like no that's totally part of the sound design which is really impressive and yeah like like you were saying it's like i don't know if it's going to an annoy me as much as i thought it would but it's uh it is really cool I don't think it's going to annoy me because I like that, especially when the music is such so pervasive in this game where it's just everywhere uh, and you do hear songs over and over and over. I like that it just adds a little bit of variety to it. The one and like when you bail, it kind of like slows down a little bit and then comes back. See that that I didn't like as much. Like I, I, I get the whole like when you bail and it kind of you glitch out as a character um, and you get like the bail uh, sound and stuff like that. That was the one. Uh, kind of audio thing that I didn't like was that the the song kind of flows into that. I understand like why they did it, but for me personally, I um, it, it kind of took me out. I just like want to be able to listen to the track cleanly. But uh, that's just See, a personal I, thing. I, and I, it is a personal thing, and I know that it's not. I think it will be kind of split, and I, I imagine that there might be a way for you to to turn that type of thing off. But mm -hmm. um, or at least I hope there is. But I liked it where like it it all adds to this thing of like they're listening to the music too. So yeah. like it just kind of like adds to this experience to me. The audio stuff I didn't like was the amount of woos and ah, yeah. like oh let me tell you Tim all the capture talking. that we're showing 
here, there, where, where, whatever direction is it is. I captured all without music, and let me tell you, uh, just so we don't get uh, copyright struck. Yeah. Um, and let me tell you, playing that game with no music, it really stands out. And like, yep. I love Tony Hawk, and I, I like, but just hearing him say "woohoo" like a million times, uh, oh yeah. god, it was driving me insane. It, it's weird, but anyways, that that's the audio side of things. Again, I was talking about the feeling of this game. It's so great. And I this demo is such a tease because with your stats so low, it's hard to really kind of get anything of, of meaning going on. Um, but yeah, it, it didn't take me long to eventually start getting my high combos up and stuff. But like I was trying to do the classic warehouse combo where you go down, jump over through the... Uh, through the gap, grind, and all that and stuff. Like, and even the like you're talking about, like the the high room, right? Uh, yeah. Like over that transfer gap, and like yeah, you don't have like the air stats just yet to like really make or it even right. The, the speeds just yeah. quite not right. Yeah. So it's like I, I managed to get enough speed to make it over the um, the half pipe, mm. but it was never where in the right place to get the grind on the other side. Yeah. So it's just like, I'm getting these teasers, but it's like, again, it feels right. Mm -hmm. and, and I was talking about, so the default controls feel like Tony Hawk 4. You can go into the menu and you can actually turn on Tony Hawk 2 controls or Tony Hawk 1 controls. So you can turn it off. So if you want to be a purist, you can, you can do that if you want. And that's something I've been really appreciating about Activision's retro games recently, where they understand whether it's Spyro or Crash or Tony Hawk, that there are people out there that want it to be a very specific thing. And they're going to cater to that. But they also know that there's so much more potential for it to be modernized and, you know, enjoyed by a a, a large amount of people that that maybe don't want the to be held back by nostalgia. And, and I'm one of those people. I'd rather have revert than than not. And it's something that you were uh, you mentioned like right before we started talking was that it, because it's been a while, like uh, like our kind of um, language muscle with the control, like the muscle memory is a little gone. And let me tell you, it was really weird playing this game after playing so much Skater XL, uh, which yeah. is more of a hardcore version of a skate where you're using the thumbsticks to do all your flip tricks and stuff like that. And it yeah, it felt very off for me. But like one, and that's only just because I've been playing a another skateboarding game to try to help fill the void until Tony Hawk comes out. Um, and so it it, it felt kind of like oh god like I, I i forget how to play the more arcadey side of skateboarding <laughs> games but uh once i got into it yeah like what you were saying it felt right and it like it like i was saying earlier like i was more of like my kind of tony hawk era starts at like tony hawk's pro skater 4 and then went to like american wasteland and i th like I, I think i played a little bit of project 8 um that was like kind of my era of tony hawk uh with the games i owned and, and stuff like that and yeah, it just it just felt at home, even though this is a remake of the some of the earlier games that I only played like here and there. Um, it it just it felt so it's felt so right. It does, man. And, and I think another little thing, and this is one of those things that proves to me that they really get it, mm -hmm. is because sure you can add the mechanics like the manual or the revert or whatever, but something that Tony Hawk's Pro Skater HD really fucked up is something that Tony Hawk Three introduced, which was modifiers for tricks. So if you like a, a kickflip, right, would be left and square, mm -hmm. right? But if you hit left and square three times, it turns to a triple kickflip. Right. So like you can just hold left down, hit square three times, and then it goes and just all in one to a triple kickflip. Tony Hawk 1 and 2 didn't have that. If you did uh, left and square three times, it would do kickflip plus right. kickflip plus kickflip. So not only was the animation different on that, it just like really slowed everything down of like what you could input and how fast you can get your combo up. Right. And there's a fluidity that that changes that they started in three that is just so brilliant. I'm so happy that they brought it back. And that to me was my biggest test of does this game feel right? Mm -hmm. Is can I start off warehouse, jump off the thing, do a triple kickflip, land manual, jump onto that uh, rail, grind around and just, just keep it all going. And yes, I can. It just feels so right. It feels like Tony Hawk should. I cannot wait for this game. Every little aspect of it so far is like, screaming perfect to me mm -hmm. like this is what i'm looking for where you were talking about it earlier but hey here's the old but then also here's the new and that goes with the music as well like hearing the classic tracks like in, in this demo there's maybe there's only three tracks but it's for, uh, for sure it's golden it's uh it's superman by uh, uh gold goldfinger Finger. um it's, radio and who's that by isn't that rage yeah, yeah. that's a rage and then there's a, I want to say a 
Billy uh, Talent song in there. It sounded like Billy Talent at, at, at least. And then there's like a fourth one that I wasn't familiar with at all. But so there's new songs in it though. Yeah. And, and they're cool and they totally fit in. And I just love that we're about to get 37 new tracks in addition to the classic soundtracks we already know that we love. And there's little bits here too that I'm excited about where there seems to be a leveling system. Mm -hmm. And I don't really understand what that's going to be for or what's going on with it. But in the top right, like you have a deck and every time you play, you get experience points. And it's like, it's giving you cash, which is traditional. Like I imagine you buy more decks and stuff with that. Right. But um, the, the idea that there's like an experience system, I, it can trigger some worry because it can trigger some microtransaction bullshit for yeah. sure. And Activision can be known to to do that type of stuff. Um, but for me, if Tony Hawk ends up having some type of like season pass style shit, oh my God, I'm going to be so stoked. Like uh, if we yeah. get content, if there's daily challenges, if there's something that like is fun from a gameplay perspective, that's not, you know, totally fucking you on the money side mm. like i want to be so stoked about that and i'm getting little hints that that might be the case yeah i, um, I was getting then, that vibe a little bit too i was like oh man i'm i'm kind of worried about what the microtransaction aspect of this game could be um because it, it, it felt like there were hints of it it doesn't seem it didn't seem like there were any like blatant like oh yeah like they're gonna ab abuse this to put microtransactions in, in here or here um so yeah it will be interesting to see once the game launches like how they if they do implement it at all, or maybe the leveling system is is something for in-game stuff, uh, we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, like, uh, I, I worry about, like, so you, when you go into the menus, you can kind of see things you can unlock with Tony Hawk, uh, specifically, and, um... You, like, he has different outfits and different boards and stuff like that uh, that he can uh, you can unlock. I don't think in this demo because they seem to be tied to specific no. challenges. You can just like look at them and yeah, the demo um, right now it's very very bare bones. Yeah, what it lets you do. Um, and even though this uh, demo is very bare bones, I feel like it has the same amount of content as Skater XL. Anyway, um, <laughs> the it. it one of my first thoughts is like being able to see all the boards that you can unlock with challenges. I was like, Hmm, I wonder if they're going to, like you're saying, like do a, uh, like a battle pass and like a, a store and stuff or like, Oh, here's this like really cool deck, uh, that's in the store for like 12 hours. And you have to have like a certain amount of, uh, uh quote unquote V bucks or whatever to, to be able to purchase it and shit like that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that'll be a conversation for for when the game launches and you and I can like really uh, dive into it and see what they're doing on that end. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I thought it was uh, the other thing that I thought was interesting. And I don't. You'll have to. You're the more experienced Tony Hawk person, uh, and so one of the interesting things was unlocking s certain moves uh, that I saw. Yeah. Like it, you had like um, you could have five special move slots. I think there's like three that you have dedicated and then there's like two that you could use but then you'd have to use experience points um to purchase other special moves and stuff like that i don't remember that ever really being a thing at least in the tony hawk games that it i played was. okay it, it, it was always a thing i mean it, it was just kind of set up a little bit differently but okay. yeah you would unlock up to nine special spots total by the end of the game mm -hmm. and when you did fully complete the game with, with each character you could then go in and I mean, even as you're playing, you can go in and change their yeah, moves. And like even in this, like ones, yeah. even this, you can go in uh, in the demo, and you you can't change the special moves, but you can change like grabs. So it's like, if there's a grab that you don't like, like for example, um, the Benihana move. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the skaters get in this really weird shape, like it kind of like yeah, and it, pulls it, their body it, out and, and, it, and it's like it's so weird that it feels hard to like really predict where this like the board is really gonna land if you're exactly. gonna like fall or actually like hit it perfectly or hit it mess uh like messy and shit like that yeah, yeah. i totally get i totally get that. exactly so i would always like to get rid of that move mm -hmm. and i would replace it with like a japan air or something that's yeah. a little bit more consistent with where the board is um just for enhancing my gameplay and combos i take this shit way too seriously um <laughs> it's all like, you could do that. the combo tim i get it exactly man um uh, but then with special moves you can go in and you can like change what the button input is so yeah. i like eventually i would go in and i would always change so everything was either left right or up down mm -hmm. just to like keep it super simple across the board for everybody um but i'll tell you what man landed a 900 or uh the varial mctwist in this i'm just like oh it felt so good it took me so long to finally land a 900 because like you were saying like you need a certain amount of air and specifically with uh, how the way warehouse is designed there with like the stats that you have there's no 
perfect spot to really like get enough enough speed to get enough air to like really land the 900 but i was able to to finally get it um uh kind of near where like the little um uh the gap thing is where you, you jump over it uh oh yeah and so i was finally able to get it there and it felt so nice and then yeah like the um w what was it the something mctwist um, varial yeah the varial mctwist felt so fun and then the the grind special that i, I forget what it was called five oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. Some, it was some variation on the five oh yeah and it was just it all felt so fun and then to like do that on the long rail and to the manual in and just do what i always did playing tony hawk games to rack up points was just do a fuck ton of manual moves because i i love manualing in uh in in those games and it just all felt really really fun um, the one thing that I haven't seen uh, in this game, and we know it's there because Roddy Mullen, mm -hmm. um, but th is the Flatland special tricks. Yeah, so, that's, a, that, that's what I was like trying to fuck around with, or even like not like special special tricks, but like trying to remember in my head of like, okay, this technically wasn't a special trick, but it was a complicated move uh, for Flatland stuff, and I was trying to input stuff, and it, it wasn't exactly there. But yeah, I'm sure the, those will be there will be manual specials that I'm sure we can unlock uh, throughout the game. Yeah. I hope that's, and, and I'm sure they wouldn't overlook something like that. But yeah. um, I'm, I'm very excited about that. Something that I really appreciated about this, even though it's a two minute demo, you can play as much as you want, and there's not much to it because there's no stats and all that stuff. Um, I still immediately got the Tony Hawk kind of make my own game playground feel out of this, where I start giving myself challenges and I'm just yeah. like, all right, I want to try to do the warehouse grind or, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the combo. And I was like, I want to do a combo that has all three specials in it. Yeah, that's I wanna, what I was trying to do too. I want to get do a 900. I want to hit the rail make twist, and then I want to hit a grind. And when I did it, I just felt so good. And it's just like <laughs> I'm back, baby. And it's like that to me is all I could ask for from this type of game. Uh, is that I get to play it, and even though there's not much, I find the fun. Yeah, and the fun's there. They're, they're giving me everything I'm asking for. Like I leaving this. As a first impression, I'm like, I got nothing to worry about of this game. Yeah. Microtransactions, notwithstanding, that is a, a big question yeah. that like could be a big, big issue. We'll see when or we get there. It could end up being awesome. Mm -hmm. Like Tony Hawk, this game with a type of battle pass system, if they do add new levels, like Crash Team Racing, um, I think is going to be a, a interesting game to look at mm -hmm. in terms of model for what Activision did. And I'm sure that they there's pros and cons that come with it. I'm sure there's stuff that's like, okay, this worked, this didn't work, yeah. this pissed people off. And we see it with the way they're talking about Crash 4, where they're like, no microtransactions at all. Like, you can get everything in game. Mm. And with Crash Team Racing, to me, the biggest issue with the way that they did their season pass stuff uh, was not the content. The content was there. Mm -hmm. They ended up adding like, I don't want to talk out of turn, but I think they added like 50% more original courses Damn. in the game over like a year. And like that's fucking crazy. The problem was you had to be online to mm. do all the stuff. So it's like when I was on a plane and shit, my points weren't going towards my my battle pass and all right. the stuff. And it's like that sucks. Yeah. Um. So again, pros and cons. I hope they learned what they're doing. But like, man, if this game ends up adding Tony Hawk three levels, Tony Hawk four levels, oh, dude, man. thug don't. levels. <laughs> oh, don't. Do <laughs> oh man. And I like I was trying because I'm I'm, I'm a thug boy. Um, the thug two. <laughs> I'm a thug boy. Look at me. Um, Thug 2 uh, had, like, its tutorial uh, level was the warehouse, but it was a little more expanded. And I was just trying to peek around, like, in that specific area where you could go into that added room of, like, I know that it's not going to be there at launch, but, like, what was is there going? To, is there maybe, like, going to be a way where they add it maybe as DLC later on? Of, like, I that mean, second here's the thing, room? Barrett. A little, a little education history for you. Um, Teach me that too. level was was actually a mix of warehouse and hangar. Oh, okay. So hangar is the first level in Tony Hawk 2. Gotcha. Okay. So that level, the other room was mm -hmm. just like the fun parts of hangar. It was that move that get, level was kind of a best of right. warehouse and hangar. Okay. And they gotcha. kind of like went forward with that um in a couple different things. But it's just exciting, man. Yeah, it is. Whew. We're less than a month away. I know, and uh, the the one thing I'll add, uh, just because I'm glad that uh, you know what we were saying with controls and stuff of like you can do the control scheme of uh, all four pro skater games combined. I think we will probably be able to look forward to like uh, like DLC added maps from three and four. Maybe Thug is because they those levels are designed uh, around the play style that the base 
gameplay, like the base the uh, default, control, gameplay. default gameplay this game has. Um, so those levels lend themselves to that. So I, I think it'd be insane if they didn't um, if they didn't try to add to that. So I'll leave it yeah. there. Oh man, oh man, can't wait. It's Anyways, so we'll we'll definitely have some more Tony Hawk's Pro Skater coverage here uh, in the coming weeks as we get closer and closer to this We're game so coming close. out. But until then. Love you guys. Thank you. Please subscribe to the Kind of Funny First Impressions uh, podcast feeds. We really appreciate it.